currently Kirkland. Your source for city news and events in the community. With Scott Mullen at the news desk. Stay up to date with weekly news reports on what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Scott. Hi, I'm Scott Mullet, and welcome to Currently Kirkland. We come to you every week with the latest in what's going on in Kirkland. Two of Kirkland's own have been nominated for the Washington State Jefferson Award. Congratulations to Nona Gantz and Karen Story for their achievements and their nominations. The Jefferson Awards are a prestigious national recognition system that honors community and public service in America. They honor ordinary people who do extraordinary things for others, both nationally and locally. Five nominees will win the Jefferson Award for Washington State, and one winner will be selected by the citizens of Washington to represent the state in Washington, D.C. Tune in to King Five's Evening Magazine the week of April 5th to find out if Nona or Karen is awarded the Washington State Jefferson Award. Have you heard the latest on the Kirkland Wednesday Market? The Wednesday market is gearing up for its 10th anniversary season with opening day on, of course, May 10th. One who has a familiar face to the market and is well known to the vendors will have a new role. Who could that be? Well, it's Stephanie Anderson. That's right, Stephanie was a volunteer during the 2009 market season and she is now Kirkland's new market director. She's a busy lady who will continue to manage Renton's farmer's market and serve as secretary to the Washington State Farmers Market Association. We're excited and we want you to be excited and be a part of another great season at the Kirkland Wednesday Market. For more information about the Wednesday Market, go to kirklandwednesdaymarket.org. Park Lane is a central corridor to shopping, dining, public art, and community activities in downtown Kirkland. Everyone views Park Lane as kind of the little gem of the city. However, aging and failing sidewalks along Park Lane between Lake Street and Main Street have become a maintenance issue, primarily because tree roots are displacing the sidewalk panels. Anything that can be done to enhance the appearance of it is just going to be a bigger attraction for people coming downtown. The city decided to take action by looking into options to replace the sidewalks. Terra walk panels which are made out of recycled rubber plastic, will be installed at 23 critical locations along the corridor where the sidewalk is buckling. The bid for the project has been awarded to Pacific Northwest Earthwalks. Construction is set to begin in April with completion in May. I'm so eager to get the sidewalks improved, to get some of the big trees that are having problems, creating problems for the sidewalk, and for pedestrians walking along the street. So it's going to be wonderful when it's finished. For more information about the Park Lane project, just go to the city's homepage and in that search box type Park Lane. The City of Kirkland Tourism Program is pleased to announce the retention of Frouse to oversee the city's advertising, promotion, public relations, and networking efforts. The Frouse team is exceptional at generating coverage in all local and regional print and electronic media, as well as tourism industry publications and the social media outlets. Citizens and tourism stakeholders can expect new redesigned tourism collateral, including electronic and print event guides and advertising. Kirkland's new tourism campaign, Water Colors Everything, will be incorporated into these new materials. For more information, go to ci.kirkland.wa.us slash tourism. At their recent meeting, the City Council approved supporting new bicycle wayfinding signs and markings. This is part of a plan that will allow signs to be placed around the east side to show bicyclists the distance between the participating cities. The plan came about when the City of Kirkland, along with Bellevue, Bothell, Issaquah, and Redmond, jointly applied for a grant to fund this project. Upon being awarded the grant money, the cities came up with multiple phases for this project, with the first phase connecting all the cities with the main wayfinding routes. Eventually, the project will include each city having its own set of wayfinding signs and routes that connect with the main route. For more information about the bicycle wayfinding signs and markings, go to the city's website and in the search box type, Bicycle Wayfinding Signs. The show must go on. The summer concert series at Marina Park has been saved by Kirkland Downtown Association, 
local residents, and various business sponsors from the Kirkland area. There is still a need for funding and volunteers to help with the concerts. If you're interested in donating, volunteering, or you'd just like more information about the 2010 summer concerts, contact Karen Story by email at the address below. This year there will be 16 concerts starting on July 6th. There will be a total of eight children's concerts on Tuesday mornings and all ages shows on Thursday evenings. Remember, you can access any of our programs on the web. Just visit the city's homepage and click Watch On Demand Programming. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have a news tip, a suggestion, or any comments, please send them to kirklandtv at ci.kirkland.wa.us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.